Good morning everyone. Right, I'm just going to talk you through my morning makeup routine. So I'm going to start off with a bit of the Skin Feast to help prime my skin, keep it lovely and moisturised. Um, warm it through with my hands and then I'm just going to lightly put it into my skin. Um, normally I'd let this sit for a couple of minutes but obviously for the purpose of the video I'm just going to slam it on quick. Fan my face and get ready to go. So first of all we're going to start off with my lovely beauty booster, I adore this. I've got it in the tone warm beige, um, I'm switching to a summer makeup so obviously a little bit lighter for the winter, a little bit darker for the summer. This has got a lovely SPF 35 um, UVV, UVA and UVB protection fantastic you should always use sun cream on your skin or some sort of uva and uvb protection usually over a 30 or a 35 is fantastic so i'm just going to buff this in with a brush today sometimes i use a sponge depends on how my skin is of the morning but today i'm going to go in with a brush i'm just going to stipple it in on my rosacea the coverage on this is quite light but i find it can be made buildable if you really want it that nice thick layers maybe over some rosacea scarring and and some awkward spots and as you'll see on my face i've got one on uh, towards my chin um and it it yeah it's not easily covered but this this doesn't 100 percent cover it if i'm honest but i've got a little trick up my sleeve and you'll see that in a moment so just let that buff in yeah look at that spot gorgeous Now that that's nicely buffed into the skin, all evened out, I'm going to show you my secret weapon for getting rid of any dark circles or any naughty little spots that you can't get covered up with the BB cream. I've got my Illuma in the shade but Brulee today. Again, going slightly darker shade because obviously I'm transitioning from my winter to my summer makeup place it on there now normally I would leave this on for about a minute or so on any awkward spots mainly because it starts setting to your skin and it buffs out easier and you won't see the spot once it's finished so I'm using my beauty sponge and I'm just gonna blend that out my lovely beauty blender concentrating around the eye area you don't want to force it too much into the creases if you've got any wrinkles because it will start showing up I just lightly put it in. I don't use much of this at all. It's a few dots and it, the applicator doesn't let you put absolutely loads on. So it's perfect. So you see, buffed in that lovely spot. Nearly gone. Next step. I get one of my lovely brushes and I'm just going to use the setting powder. Now this is a translucent powder, but I just find if you get sort of oily in the t-zone anywhere that you find that you're gonna get any oils I'd slam this on because it, it, it just helps seal it and obviously where I've got that spot I just need a little bit of it just to seal in where I put the Illuma so as you can see I'm hardly using any there's me contemplating what shades I'm gonna use today <laughs> So first of all, I'm going to go in with my highlight, well obviously my highlighter and my blush. I've got my blush in a cheeky peach. This is a lovely shade and it suits pretty much every skin tone. It's gorgeous. Goes on really nicely, it's a powder. We also do creams, but I prefer, personally, I prefer a powder. Next up, I'm going in with a golden hour and I love this highlighter. It's so easily used and it's brilliant for using on the eyelids as well and I obviously you know don't use loads I just put on a little bit because it just catches that light perfectly right I'm just deciding what I want to do next so we're gonna go with eyebrows next so this is the powder that I've gone for this is in the walnut this is the brow boss now I've got myself a three-in-one eye pencil and um, this is fantastic because you get you nice, so as you can see, sleek edges. Also, you've got the little buffing tool at the end that you can take out any harshness if you want to. It's also underneath. Um, if you've got any 
untamed eyebrows. I'm I'm unlucky. I've got hardly any eyebrow <laughs> at all. But yeah, you can use that just to kind of get any stray eyebrow hairs into shape. Just penciling that in, trying to make it look natural. Again, there's that saying, they've got to look like sisters, not like twins, your eyebrows. So, you know, just follow the natural shape. Um, if you do struggle to get a shape, um, because you've got either hardly any eyebrows, if you've plucked them too much, um, we've got stencils that you can buy, and they, there's a, a, about six or so in there, and they're all different shapes to so find the shape that suits your face, and they're fantastic. So you can use this with the powder, buff it in with a brush, and you've got a perfect shape to go in with, and then you just tidy up any edges that you may have missed. And there you go, I'm just doing that in the middle of my head there, just to take any harshness away from the eyebrow area not make them look so penciled on what am I going for next oh let's have a look yes my favorite this is the galaxy I love this eyeshadow it is gorgeous it's got a lovely smoky tone to it it's got a slight iridescence as well which is beautiful catching the light and lucky for me it goes perfectly with what I'm wearing today I do like a bit of tie-dye don't we all so I'm just going to slightly and lightly put them into the sockets. Taking my time, make sure I'm just covering the socket. There we go, as you can see, very gently. And then I'm just buffing it out. You don't want any harsh lines again. If you want to frame your eyes, just go underneath as well as you've just seen me do. Just very lightly, you don't need much at all. And just keep buffing it and blending it which looks much more natural now highlighter again I love this highlighter um, I use this one quite a lot and that's the moonlight the moonlight is really good for brightening up those eyes as well so you know not only can you use it as a highlighter on your face you can use it on your eyelids and I think it looks beautiful it just pops a little bit of brightness ah, gorgeous next up what am I gonna do now Oh, here we go, mascara, I finished blending in. Now, this is our fixing gel mascara. Uh, all our products are cruelty free, so, you know, not tested on animals. They're vegan. I find with this mascara that it's so easy to apply. Um, it's got a lovely formula. Um, it does come, if you want to buy on top, you can get the lash extension fibres, which will give you that false lash effect. But for today, it's a daytime look. I'm not going to go too wild. Um, for me, when it comes to lashes, you don't want to force it too much to the root. You just kind of want to hold it towards and give it a little jiggle and push up. You can also use the end of the mascara brush to kind of give extra to any other little waif and strays that aren't going in the direction that you want. I don't tend to curl my eyelashes. I'd hate using those little contraptions. So for me, I try and do almost what I call a fox eye look, where you're t taking the lashes and putting them out towards the edge of the face, because I've got big eyes, so I don't want to take too much um, focus on to more, make my eyes look even bigger. So for me, a fox eye will just elongate my eyes a little bit to not make them look so huge. There we go. Just going to finish off with one more layer for my eyelashes because by now the other side will have set and I can just get any that haven't gone into the direction I want to. Oh my god, my eyes look so googly on this. <laughs> uh, there we go. So I'm happy with that. So I'm just seeing any spots that I may not have blended in completely. And then, oh, decisions, decisions. Well, today we're going for a lovely lippy. I do like this one. This is Fresh Fig. So this has got a nice, natural, beautiful tone to it. It's not going to look too, you know, nighttime. It's a lovely shade. It's so easy to put on. It's so moisturising. I love it. And I've used it pretty much every day. Last thing I do, and it's a little trick for anyone who wants to make their lip lips look bigger, is I'm going to go get some of my highlighter. Remember I was talking about that a minute ago? That's the golden hour. I'm just going to take a bit of the golden hour because it's got a peachy shade. So it won't, if you use the moonlight, it'll look too fake. But this one, it just highlights the colour that I've used on the fresh fig and gives your lips a wonderful sheen. 
And there we go. All I've got to do is style my hair and I'm good to go. Thank you very much. Bye.